After reviewing all four Toy Story films, as well as the TV specials Toy Story of Terror and Toy Story That Time Forgot, there is still one piece of Toy Story related media that I want to cover on this channel. Pixar recently announced their upcoming film Lightyear, which will tell the definitive story of the original Buzz Lightyear. However, this won't be the first spin-off film focused on everyone's favourite Space Ranger. That distinction is held by the director video film, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Adventure Begins. If you enjoy this video, why not give it a like? Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as it really helps the channel. The film serves as a feature-length pilot for the TV series Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Produced by Disney, the series was inspired by a deleted scene from the first Toy Story, in which Andy watches a 2D animated Buzz Lightyear series. Despite taking place before the series, The Adventure Begins was actually produced after most episodes had already been completed. This really worked in the film's favour, as elements such as character designs, layouts and backgrounds had already been created. While you wouldn't mistake it for a theatrical release, the animation is impressive for a director video production. The character designs are highly expressive. Early concept art was more in keeping with the look of the Toy Story films. However, the final character designs are far more stylized and cartoonish. Star Command itself is populated by a wide variety of different species, much like the Green Lantern Corps from DC Comics. The film's villains are equally memorable. Between the Hornets from this film and the Battle Droids from Star Wars, I was slightly obsessed with compactable robot armies as a kid. As the title suggests, the film follows Buzz Lightyear, a space ranger working out of Star Command's Universe Protection Unit. After losing his partner during a rescue mission, Buzz vows to only work alone in future. Meanwhile, the evil Emperor Zerg plans to use the Unimind, the mystical orb that links all of LGM kind, to spread his evil across the universe. The series features Patrick Warburton as the voice of Buzz Lightyear. However, for this special release, Tim Allen was brought on to reprise the role. Allen had to match the rhythm of Warburton's performance so that his voice would sync up with the animation. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Personally, I prefer Alan's version of the character, though I admit that may be because I'm more familiar with it. Warburton also voiced the LGMs, or Little Green Men, in both the series and the film. To infinity and beyond! The Adventure Begins presents Buzz as comically one note. No, it's my worst fear come true. Here we go. This diabolical plot can only be the work of the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, Evil Emperor Zerg. What plot? You think Zerg is behind every kitten stuck up a tree? His devotion to thwarting evil throughout the universe is matched only by his sense of self-importance. What about Zerg? He's my problem. He's everybody's problem. Mira, there's only one way for me to finish this mission. Alone. To dissuade Buzz of this notion, The Adventure Begins also introduces several new characters. Princess Maranova is voiced by Nicole Sullivan, who, among other things, would go on to voice Shigo in Kim Possible. So, Kim Possible, you think to thwart my plan? Don't stop to tell her the plan. I'll handle this, Shigo. Yeah, all I know is every time you stop to blab about your big plan, she wins. As a Tangian, Mira possesses ghosting and telepathic abilities. Tangian brain squeeze. Oh. Despite her royal status, Mira proves to be a highly skilled space ranger, capable of holding her own alongside Buzz. Next time you're out there... And Zerg aims for me? What's to keep the princess from ending up like warp? Yeah, well maybe it's the princess keeping you from ending up like warp! Okay, hello? The princess has a name. Though, like Buzz, her enthusiasm can get her into trouble. You know what? You two really should be partners. Cause you're both pig-headed show-offs! XR, aka the Experimental Ranger, is created by the LGMs to be the perfect partner for Buzz. You're, uh, 
going somewhere with this? If Zerg blows up XR, we can put him back together! Voiced by comedian Larry Miller, the robot ranger delivers a lot of the film's funniest lines. Now follow me on this buzz. Two words, timeshare. How many of you love it? All right, Monday through Wednesday, admittedly, the galaxy belongs to Zerg. But Thursday through Saturday, it's ours! We alternate Sundays. What do you think? XR forms a double act with Booster, a Star Command janitor who dreams of becoming a space ranger. Booster is voiced by Stephen First, best known to sci-fi fans as Via in Babylon 5. Star Command is led by the gruff one-legged Commander Nebula, voiced by Adam Carolla. Zerg is voiced by Wayne Knight. Ooh, I'm so evil. I just gave myself chills. Even my goosebumps have goosebumps. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Coincidentally, Knight also voiced Al McWiggin in Toy Story 2. By the way, am I the only one who thinks these things look like Daleks? The film opens with a scene set in Andy's room, where the toys are gathering to watch the new Buzz Lightyear movie on VHS. Incidentally, this scene was the only part of the film that Pixar was directly involved in. Several Toy Story cast members reprise their roles, including R.L. Ermey as Sarge, Wallace Shawn as Rex, Joe Ranft as Wheezy, and Jim Pigeon as the squeeze toy aliens. Andrew Stanton voices Ham, the only time the character was not portrayed by John Ratzenberger, while Tom Hanks' brother, Jim Hanks, voices Woody. A Buzz Lightyear movie. Heh, <laughs> what do you know? You don't look so fat when they draw you that way. <laughs> Stanton also voiced Zerg in Toy Story 2. In contrast to the earnest nature of the Toy Story films, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command is more overtly comedic. Even the location title cards contain jokes. The Adventure Begins is very self-aware and doesn't take itself seriously. I don't know exactly, but I believe that even now Zerg is hatching his most diabolical scheme yet. <laughs> this is my most diabolical scheme yet! The film is tightly edited, maintaining a high energy throughout. There are many quotable lines. But perhaps there was a method to their madness. Maybe, just maybe. No, they had lost it. The way the characters play off each other is very organic, which is impressive considering each actor likely recorded their lines separately. In the Star Command mission manual, it clearly states that no ranger is to go into action without backup. I think it's section six, subsection delta. Actually, it's section six, subsection gamma. He's right, big guy. Subsection delta is the dress code. Incidentally, why can't we have nose rings? Because nose rings are for punks, little mister. Well, if you can take on Zerg alone, I don't see why XR can't get a nose ring. I was just asking a question. I'm not the one getting a nose ring. Then who's getting a nose ring? <gasps> That's why Buzz wants to ditch us. The film is just over an hour long, but it uses every minute. Despite essentially being three episodes of a TV series stitched together, The Adventure Begins doesn't feel like three episodes of a TV series stitched together. The film easily stands on its own. In fact, when I was younger, I wasn't even aware there was a TV series, but I would watch and rewatch the film alongside Toy Story and Toy Story 2. The film's score was written by series composer Adam Berry. Berry has provided music for numerous animated series, including Kim Possible and the Penguins of Madagascar. The main Buzz Lightyear theme is both heroic and memorable. Though an official soundtrack was never released, you can listen to a handful of tracks on Barry's website. The closing credits feature the song To Infinity and Beyond, performed by none other than William Shatner. So say goodbye, now it's time to fly to infinity and beyond. The film draws inspiration from a variety of sources, including the Toy Story films. The Unimind was partially inspired by the Unimind from Marvel Comics. The claw which grabs the Unimind is also a reference to the first Toy Story. Who's in charge here? The this could have easily been a corporate cash grab, but it's clear a lot of care and effort went into this project. At present, neither the film nor the series have been made available on Disney+, Plus, or anywhere else for that matter. However, if you can get your hands on a copy of the DVD, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command The Adventure Begins is definitely worth checking out. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you have seen this film. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? Maybe share it with a friend or an enemy. 
Either way, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to see more content here on Channel 73.